Good morning. I'll call this meeting to order. We have a quorum. All three commissioners are present. Commissioner Fun will lead us in a flag salute. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. I make a motion to approve the February 29, 206, 2016 BOCC minutes. Second. Motion has been made and seconded. Are there any additions, deletions, corrections? No. Nope. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? <laughs> minutes are approved. Mr. Chair, before we have the public comment, could we just pause for a couple minutes as we all lost three children uh, this weekend? in Centralia, so if we could just pause. Thank you. We have public comment. Colonel Ron Averill has signed up. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, Ron Averill from Centralia area. Not in the city, just over the borderline. <laughs> Since 2010, I have sat on the Emergency Management Council, the state's Emergency Management Council, representing Washington Association of Counties. Eric and I uh, agreed that uh, I could continue on that for the Washington Association. Last Thursday, I was elected chairman of the council. so. I, uh, Congratulations. Thank you very much. I will entertain a motion for the notice agenda. I move that we approve the notice agenda, item one, request for proposals, resolution number 16-076. I second. Good morning, commissioners. Tim Elsey, public works director, speaking to item number one on your notice agenda, and this is a request for proposals to develop a design report with 60% plans for the reconnection of a historic side channel of Lacamas Creek. RFPs must be turned in by 1 p.m. on March 11, 2016, and this is resolution number 16-076. As you're aware, we put in a funding request to the Recreation and Conservation Office for surf board funding to reconnect a side channel, a historic side channel on Lacrimus Creek, and I can actually point to that right now. We can see it on, on this. You might tilt it so okay, the audience can see it. So this project is multifaceted but will help with several issues one is to restore fish habitat to this tier one stream and the other is to help prevent flooding and allow for flood storage along this historic channel we have we have recently had flooding events which have covered frost road and often also Jackson Highway. So this project, it, it's a very, very good project that will enhance fish habitat and will also reduce flooding in these areas. Can you tell folks what SURF stands for? The Salmonid Recovery Fund. Okay. Thank you. Any further discussion on the notice agenda? No. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Notice agenda is approved. Okay, I make a motion to approve consent agenda, the consent agenda with three items, resolutions number 16-077 through 16-079. Second. Good morning, commissioners. Good morning. Amanda Migliaccio, financial analyst, senior in the auditor's office, speaking on items number two and three. Item number two, resolution 
77 is the weekly approval of warrants. Um, for the week of February 29th through March 4th, there were 323 regular warrants, which were numbered 743134 through 743246, 743350 through 743481, and 743675 through 743752 for a total amount of 800, or $826,673.96. There were also um, 174 payroll warrants and 473 automatic deposits dated um, March 5th and the warrant numbers were 743482 through 743656 and that was for a total amount of three million three hundred ninety four thousand eight hundred thirty seven dollars and eight cents thank you thank you item number three is uh, resolution 16-078, which is for the approval of the Inventory of Capital Assets Report. Uh, this resolution is to fulfill the requirements set forth by RCW 36.32.210, which requires the Board of County Commissioners to file with the auditor a statement verified by oath showing a full and complete inventory of all capital assets of the county for the 12-month period uh, ending December 31st of the preceding year. And the preparation of that inventory was based off of um, verifications performed by the departments that have custodial responsibility of those assets. Were there any questions? Thank you Thank very you. much. Thank you. Morning, Commissioners. Kevin Hansen, Jail Administrator for Sheriff Rob Snaza, here to speak to uh, Consent Agenda Item Number 4. This is Resolution Number 16-079, and it's for the amended service contract between uh, Lewis County Sheriff's Office and Centralia Providence Hospital. And uh, last year, in 2015, the legislature adopted House Bill 5593, which amended RCW 7048-130, which uh, historically allowed the jails to pay 50% of the usual customary and ordinary billing rates for the hospital for inmate medical services to um, allow us to pay the l and rates as established by the state of Washington. A uh, little bit of uh, data that we've garnered from the last three months uh, is that we're only paying about 15% of the uh, hospital char charges as opposed to the 50. So it's gonna be a significant savings to the county. Thank Any you, other questions? Then I'll call for the vote on the consent agenda. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? <laughs> consent agenda is approved. Okay, I, uh, at this time I would also like to uh, congratulate uh, three of our uh, Lewis County sports teams. As most of you know, that uh, Napa Vine, both Napa Vine girls and the Mossyrock boys played for the state championship, and um, uh, they had a very, very good showing over there. Uh, we've been spoiled the last couple of years because MWP has won it, and they ended up six this year, but they all did very well. They competed hard, and it was a great atmosphere, and there were a lot of Lewis County people there, that's for sure. So it was fun to see everyone over there, and that's... Uh, Good time, for sure, so congratulate to them. And uh, Bobby, you've probably got a comment on this since you were there and you broadcasted all of them. What you, what? Oh. Up there. <laughs> They're recording. It's recorded. You oh, okay. <laughs> You're on the record. Yes. Bobby Jackson from Chehalis. I just wanted to make a comment to uh, Mr. Stampers. I'd kind of dovetail off something he said. Whenever we look at these tournaments, and we consider all of Lewis County, we actually took home five pieces of hardware. You have to include Wakayakum and you have to include Tudor Lake in that. So we always go over and we always put our best foot forward. And I'm about as excited and proud of all these kids as I could be. To have Mossy get into the state championship game was wonderful. To have Napa Vine 
literally almost pull it off yes. was was incredible. So it's a great great testimony to our kids, their coaches, their parents, and how they approach the game. And um, it's one of those things that I just purely love doing. So five pieces of hardware coming home. That's not too shabby. Yeah, no, it's, it was a very very good year for Southwest Washington District Four. Yes, that's for yes. sure. Thank you. Thank you. Seeing no further items on our agenda, I move that we adjourn. Second. Motion has been made and seconded. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? We are adjourned.